Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you're tuned into another live edition of Perillo Picks. It's a part of TLDR. It's a live broadcast I do every single weekday for my patrons. You can become a patron by heading over to chrisperillo.com. I just geeked out and talked about three reasons why I like AR more than VR. That's kind of my perspective, my opinion, my experience with AR and VR. I did that just for the patrons, so if you want to hear me talk about that, well... You gotta sign up to become a patron. Today, Perillo Picks is, is going to highlight something that will be featured, if it has not already been featured in my vlog. I pretty much lead a Star Wars lifestyle. I mean, this is just what I love doing. It's it's uh, a comfort for me. Uh, I've learned that the secret to happiness is, uh, you know, basically rekindling old passions and interests, and I adored my Star Wars figures when I was a kid, and it's, it's kind of fun to become an adult and uh, raise a child and uh, giving her the gift of Star Wars. So, I I've had these for a while. I belong to a few groups wherein people uh, buy and sell and trade Star Wars stuff. And uh, uh, I saw one offer uh, come along that normally I'd probably pass up on. But this offer was almost too good to be true, and it was true, and it was good. What I'm going to show you is a series of vintage-style re-cards. These are not the original cards, what I'm going to showcase. These are original figures. Most of them are modern. I don't think there are any vintage figures. The modern ones being the, the newer ones that had been produced uh, beyond the Kenner line. So even though you see the word Kenner, even though it's styled like a vintage card, these are modern figures. This is WED1577. Did not have this figure before. Uh, so what's interesting about recards is that they're styled like vintage cards or potentially modern cards but they're uh, figures that have had the, the bubble uh, basically placed onto the card and just they look like you could buy them off the store shelf, though you probably shouldn't, because recards aren't exactly fully licensed. Um, and so what happened was everything I'm about to show you, each one of these, each one of these figures I'm about to show you, $5 a piece. $5 a piece. Now, th for this, this type of arts, this is arts, right? Taking these figures, these modern figures, new figures, never played with figures, recarded, uh, like and, and 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 then placed in a star case. So not only did I get the figure, often with the accessory that came with the figure. This is, I believe, a Han Solo Sandstorm outfit. I believe from a um, an exclusive Blu-ray and or DVD release. Didn't have the figure. Um, so I got the recard. I got the the new modern figure. New. They should be new. Uh, they're, they're, they, they shouldn't be used. Because uh, I can't imagine the, the person going through the, the, the same amount of time and attention uh, with these recards if they were used figures. Uh, so, again, $5 a piece for each one of the things that I'm showing you. Each one. The figure. The, the accessory. The card. And the star case. These what you what you're seeing here uh, are star cases, and these are often used by collectors to protect the cards inside. At this five bucks. Now, uh, Giran, uh, this action figure alone costs way more than five dollars. So, uh, what? I'm like, can you believe that? Every each one five bucks. I could not pass this up. I'm not necessarily a recard chaser. Up until the point where I got this particular series, uh, number one, I, I didn't necessarily have every every one of the figures. This one, uh, uh, Ularen, Admiral Ularen, that you may have seen in A New Hope, or if you watched the Clone Wars series, this is obviously a different version of him. Um, I'm not necessarily a recard collector outright, but what was compelling was the price. What was compelling was knowing that I could get these figures, because otherwise, the only other way, to my knowledge, to get this Admiral Ularn was in a set, which I would eventually like to get, but it's kind of pricey, and I'm like, well, but this is pretty cool. This is really, truly, one of a kind, and also not one of a kind at the same time, at such an amazing price. I could all, always go back and remove these figures and not really feel bad about doing that. Oh, trust me. Uh, I hope you've buckled up for a long ride because we've got a long ride. This is Padme Amidala uh, from the Lars Homestead. I've kind of um, picked up a, 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 I guess, a series of uh, the, the Padme Amidalas from the uh, the prequels, if only because the, the costumes, uh, when I went to see the uh, the Rebels... Oh, God, what was the name of it? You, you can remind me back here. Um, Rebel Jedi Princess... Jedi? Oh, God, what was it? The the costume exhibit. 
like the touring exhibit, I, I was there like basically opening weekend here in Seattle and uh, vlogged it. And, and you, you probably saw that. And, and the amount of detail that went into the costume work for uh, the prequels, specifically Amidala, was breathtaking, quite honestly. Um, here's one, Muftak. I've got the t-shirt now. It also has the weapon down there. Um, but, you know, this is just, I think, an amazing way of displaying the figures, keeping them carded, but not really feeling bad if I ever, if I ever went to the point where I wanted to remove them the, from the card to, to open them up from the packaging, I wouldn't feel bad. But I would kind of feel bad because a lot of time and attention and care went into creating this. And if you've noticed, the card backs, many of them are different. Some of them, uh, of course, are the same. But the character should be matched with the card style that might have been around if it was a vintage uh, uh, character released uh, with a vintage style. But obviously, every one of these are not vintage. Not really happy about uh, Isla's uh, legs being bent, but I didn't really, I don't know if I had this Isla Secura, um, a Jedi, Jedi Knight, a Twi'lek. Uh, the Twi'leks are very, very known for, there's a woman on Etsy who makes headgear to turn you into a Twi'lek, if you ever wanted to be a Twi'lek. Uh, there we go. Rebel Jedi Princess Queen, Star Wars and the Power of Costume. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, uh, I obviously did not have... It's just the artistry of, of these uh, figures. And what's so great about this is I can stack them. I could uh, uh, ultimately get uh, some kind of pegboard, and I'm thinking about doing this downstairs. Uh, taking these cards, or even some of the carded figures that I have, that I may open, may not open, and actually put a pegboard up on the wall that uh, was going to be my podcast room, but ultimately I don't think anybody wanted to subscribe to the podcast, so I didn't pursue it, um, the, uh, uh, or I guess series of podcasts, I wanted to do a Microsoft one, a Google one, an Apple one, a Star Wars one, but I'm like, is it going to be worth doing? Not without the right model. So, um, I'm thinking about getting a, a pegboard so that I can get the pegs and then basically have a room with carded Star Wars figures on pegs. Just to, just to go, you know, just to have, <laughs> Because how else are you going to display the figures, right? Um, I did have this, uh, this is the Sandcrawler droid. I did have this one in a three-pack that I've not opened. So I guess this is a duplicate of, of a figure, but I don't mind duplicates, especially if uh, they're styled like this. And I mean, you've just, you've got to really appreciate the time and attention and work that's gone into creating something that just has this nostalgic feel. And uh, I, I certainly do. I, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the scale. Obviously, this is this is my core fandom. I think uh, whoever did it was, an, uh, you know, an amazing artist. Like I said, I would have picked up more of them. It's just that I only had so much budget. And for $5, I mean, normally, sometimes, this is Adi Galia, another Jedi, um, sometimes you find the star cases themselves costing five bucks. Like if you're a collector, you know, like, oh my God, that's like the star case. I mean, if you can get it for five bucks, it's probably on the more expensive side for a star case, unless you buy in bulk. Um, but the value of the figure sometimes is worth, you know, new, even out of package, maybe worth three dollars to you know more than that so that combined with the star case can combined with the recard um the value is kind of invaluable but it's definitely it was definitely absolutely worth uh, worth acquiring once i would say a once in a lifetime experience but you never know i always look out for good deals good specials uh this is shaka and i do believe this is a, a twi'lek from wado's uh, uh i guess his would you what was it in the phantom menace wado's not his 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 workshop uh when he was at uh, the pod races the, his booth no what, what's the word i'm looking for there's a set and i think she came in the set and i didn't have the set but i'd be interested in the figure now you notice a lot of the figures that i'm showing you not all of them are uh, aliens and, and monsters and creatures and robots because that's usually what i choose to collect but you know i do make exceptions to the rule especially when boy these are stacking perfectly behind me um especially when uh it's a figure that I wouldn't otherwise uh, necessarily get, or if it was an exclusive or a part of a bigger set. Um, I do believe this is a, a Jabba's uh, a, a, a creature, and that was it would be indicated not just because of the the card back, but the front, Return of the Jedi, Jaquil, Jaquil. Um, uh, oh, you, the exhibit. You, you know, someone uh, Liz is saying that she saw the exhibit uh, in in New York. I was lucky. I got a comp ticket. That was great. But you know, if you're into fashion, it's absolutely worth looking into. In fact, a uh, bonus tip: um, uh, iTunes people who got uh, the Phantom Menace through I, sorry, 
My bad. Uh, the Force Awakens through iTunes got new digital content today, uh, behind the scenes stuff uh, where they're talking about the the costumes of the Force Awakens. Uh, that's new digital content that I do believe is exclusive to the iTunes purchasers uh, for the movie. Even Peel, I uh, didn't have this figure before, to my knowledge. This may have come in a two pack with Yoda, uh, but it, it wasn't necessarily a figure that I chased. Uh, you know, outright the prequels weren't necessarily uh, you know a core part of the fandom. But you know, I've kind of gone back, and it's good that I waited because in many cases, if I would have purchased the figure new outright, it would have cost me substantially more than five dollars. Whereas this, five bucks. I'm telling you, this, it's a whole, man, that you go down the rabbit hole with the types of collectors that are out there. There's no wrong way to collect at all. And that's what I love. I just love looking at stuff. I love picking up tips. I love uh, getting information. I love uh, sharing information. Uh, general tag. This is another one from that set that I was talking about. Uh, by the time I, I saw everything that he had available, he had sold the other ones, unfortunately. But I got what I could from, from it, um, if only because... This would have been pretty epic, uh, you know, to 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 uh, have on a classic Kenner card, classic five POA. Uh, some of these figures, if not most of them, are not five POA. They are super articulated, unlike the uh, the original figures that were released uh, back in the day by Kenner. And I I've been a fan. I've I've you know, if you follow me at all, you know that I'm a a fan of of five POA. My first figure for POA. POA, by the way, is short for points of articulation. Another Jedi, Sasi Tin, uh, and for whatever it's worth, the actor who portrayed Sasi Tin uh, had passed away uh, recently over the past year. Uh, there have been a few people in the in the Star Wars universe, uh, actors and actresses, who have passed away over the past year. And this is something that I was just talking to my uh, patrons about. Sometimes instead of appreciating them after they've gone after they've passed away, maybe we should appreciate them while they're still around. And this is one of the reasons I'm big into supporting the people that I really love and that I really appreciate. I want them to know that I love them and that, that I like having them around and love having them in my life. I'm not going to wait until they die to tell the world how much I appreciated them. I'm going to tell the world how much I appreciate them uh, before they die. I uh, talked about how I'm kind of into the Padme Amidala thing. So I don't know why the this was separated, the, the actual piece that, that I guess a drapery uh, I love the style of this it's kind of like a, a mashup of the, the vintage style uh, a card back in, in, in a modern uh, figure obviously uh, Padme Amidala wouldn't necessarily have chased Padme Amidala it's just that I, I started really kind of appreciating the, the work that went into the, the costuming and I thought oh it'd be kind of neat that if I ever opened all the, the Padme Amidala figures that you know they just there's just this entire range um, plus it could be something that Jedi may appreciate you know at some point a, a good uh, a good female Male hero, heroine that uh, she could look up to. This is another droid that I did not have, R1G4. I believe it was another part of uh, a multi pack. Uh, not a Corbin Dallas multi pack, mind you. Oh, I'm crossing the streams. But uh, if you uh, if you watched the uh, A New Hope, you've probably seen the droid. Probably didn't pay much attention to it. I do believe it was a uh, part of the uh, droid purchase at the Lars Homestead in A New Hope. Um, kind of neat. I, like I said, I'm like, dude, I didn't even know that figure really even existed until I saw them on the recards. Isn't that weird? You know, even as someone who collects, even as someone who loves the fandom, I don't know everything. Uh, Elias, or Ellis Herlut, um, this race was also found, I think, in the Darth Vader comic arc uh, that was rebooted by Marvel recently. Uh, a Cantina patron. I do have this one on card as a part of what I effectively want to build. I want to build a diorama or a shelf for the Cantina creatures. It's just that I haven't yet. Um, and I'm, I'm careful about removing the figures from cards right now because Jedi is, like, hands-on and grabbing things. So I've got to be careful that I don't lose accessories and that I don't have her knocking things over. And right now, she's kind of in the whole knocking things over mode. But I I, uh, I I love the the look of, of this particular alien. Love the look. I, I don't know if this one has the accessory though. If it does, it's oh wait, it's it's possibly in a holster behind the uh, the alien. This is the way they used to look like. Did not have a big dark lighter, believe it or not. This was not on my radar. Um, and, uh, so I took the opportunity because I was like, ah, you know, this is a pretty, this is a pretty cool way of displaying it. I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it at all. Like it was, uh, uh, it, it was worth doing because, it, you know, here's the thing. As you go through life, you have to uh, recognize that, you know, your life is only so long. And so what are you going to do spending most of your time and your attention on? Uh, 
spend it on things that make you happy. And I'm lucky too because I ended up converting my uh, some of my points courtesy of go.tagjag.com slash free points uh, to be able to pick all of these up. So effectively, they didn't cost anything, apart from time, uh, to earn those points. Uh, this is the corresponding, um, uh, I guess, the behind-the-scenes I, I want to DVD or Blu-ray exclusive. Uh, this is the Luke Skywalker equivalent to the Luke uh, to the Han Solo that I showed you earlier. This was a, a, a deleted scene that I've only seen once or twice that took place after they escaped Jabba's palace, blew up the sail barge. A sandstorm apparently hits, um, and so I didn't have the figures before. Didn't necessarily chase them, but I think they look great. Uh, 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 Recarded. Uh, it, it's the way that I would want to display them. I think it's an epic way of displaying some of these characters. That, that's the birthing gown. Thank you, Yakface. If you if you're looking for, uh, a, hey Yakface. By the way, I, I gotta ask before I before I keep going. Is this something that you you really like seeing? Because I just I would love tuning into a video seeing someone's collection of recarded figures and their deal that they got for them. So yeah, that was pregnant Padme, Carlos. By the way, uh, this is Luke Skywalker ceremonial outfit. I don't think I have the Han Solo. I think that was sold by the time I got this. Um, the only one that uh, I would love to see at some point is a Chewbacca holding on to the celebration medal that uh, he ultimately did get. Uh, that was revealed. Spoiler alert in the Chewbacca comic arc, but uh, he didn't get it in the movie. The poor Chewbacca. And he, he's, he's more than just a co-pilot. He's going to be around, I think, for the long haul, which is great. It's 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 fantastic to know. Um, you know, they could have kept producing these back in the day, and I would have just been thrilled. But there was a dark period. It's it's hard to to explain this to to, to people now, but there was a huge dark period in my life where it, this stuff didn't exist. Uh, really became a fan of Plo Koon. Not so much from the prequels. You don't really see him a lot there, but certainly uh, in the Clone Wars uh, cartoon series, uh, which to call it a cartoon, I don't think does it justice because the, the Clone Wars, I think, is I mean, it's a solid part of canon. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 you know what I realized in irony is this stuff is spinning around. Uh, I love Plo Koon's, Koon's design. Uh, he's the one who discovered, uh, uh, Ahsoka Tano. Um, I'm celebrating Earth Day by showing you bits of plastic. But let's face it, you know, after humans destroy the Earth, because that's what we're probably going to do, the only thing that's going to survive is not us, not anything organic, but plastic. Uh, now, Nysad, I don't know. He's got he's got his headgear, but I don't know. This would be a Nikto, a classic Nikto. I don't know if I had this figure otherwise. I, I did. I don't think I did, and I didn't even realize it, it was a figure. Though I thought I had completed all the the Jabba uh, characters and all the uh, the Cantina characters, at least one of them not uh, not being a completist, getting uh, all the designs or all the the releases. But uh, this is him without his his head gear. Uh, kind of neat. Uh, I'm still going through my vintage collection, still acquiring new stuff. Uh, I'll have my next uh, vig vintage loose collection haul uh, coming up probably next week when I do Perillo picks on a weekday when the next one comes in. Um, I usually get them when they're C9 or above. You know, because if you're going to do it, you might as well do it. Uh, CZ3 uh, found very briefly in uh, uh, the, uh, uh, well, the droid uh, ethos, the design ethos, uh, you've, you saw him in Return of the Jedi, I believe, very briefly as Jabba's previous protocol droid, but then he was walking around uh, in uh, the Moss Eisley, the back lot, you know, when they were walking around to Docking Bay 94, 94, right there. Love that droid. Have this one on the card and uh, was planning on opening it at some point in the future. See, I'm a bad collector. Sometimes I don't know if I'm going to open something or not. Uh, I'm not done. I told you, man. Just strap yourselves in. This is just, it's a, it's a recardathon here, man. I, I'm just doing it and I'm doing it live. This is, I, I, this seriously, it's, it's energizing to me. I just love it. I mean, it's just like works of art to me. Uh, Padme, uh, that we knew her as Padme, uh, in the Fa Phantom Menace, uh, she's, she's holding on to the, the, the item, or this, like, uh, an iPad, before we had an iPad, uh, at the pod race. Uh, so this is what she was wearing when, uh, they went to, uh, Tatooine. Spoiler alert! <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm spoiling anything. Uh, not done! Padme as a handmaiden uh, did not really like uh, the uh, the the face sculpt of of uh, this particular Padme, uh, but I'm also to to let you know, uh, like I said, not really a fan of the the human likenesses in figures as much because they 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 seem to not look accurate. 
So those tend to be the ones that uh, I don't necessarily collect. But it was like, oh, you know, babe, it's there. It's a Padme. It's part of the collection. It'll work. Yeah. Almost done. Not to, not to ruin it for everybody. Uh, Pons Limbic, another one of the Cantina patrons. Uh, and it looks like Brainiac, right? All you see is this exposed brain. Now, this is a different uh, card back with uh, b uh, behind the scenes with the original Jabba the Hutt, who was uh, a person, an actual human being walking around. And uh, that was, of course, replaced or augmented with uh, the Jabba the Hutt in the special edition, which was then gone back and, and retouched as well. But uh, I don't know if you knew that uh, different Cantina patrons were available. Another Padme! Or, I'm sorry, Queen Amidala at this point. She had been revealed when they went back to Naboo and they were fighting at Theed, uh, you know, for the, the control to, to wrestle back. I, I'm explaining the Phantom Menace as if the, as if the people who are watching you know, didn't know because I can only imagine someone who's watched this video or wants to watch this video is obviously a hardcore Star Wars fan and a collector like me and just loves looking at this stuff. Um, I'm trying to give equal time to these spins... Uh, this is the Death Star droid. Uh, did not have this one in particular. Uh, I believe it's a super articulated Death Star droid. Um, I have the vintage Death Star droid, but looked n it, that looked nothing like this one. And the one that I had growing up was so beat up. I don't even think I have it anymore. But uh, this is nice to have, um, you know, in in the in the style, and, and of course uh, on card, even if e even as a recard. In fact, it's a great way sometimes of getting a figure looking like it's you know on card, like a a, a, a legitimate carded figure would be, but at a more affordable price. Uh, so if you don't want to play with loose figures and you want to display them like this, uh, that's the way to go. Wow, I got three stacks. And last but not least, Admiral Motti. Uh, this is the last one that I got from the series that I want to get the, the case, the Hasbro multi-pack of uh, the Death Star, uh, where they were talking about the Death Star, and he got choked. He got choked up. Kind of. I got choked up, too. And if you're a fan like me, you probably got choked up at some point in the video. Uh, thank you, everybody, for paying attention. I, I do appreciate it. Um, this is this is a, a hobby, a passion, an interest. Uh, it brings me happiness. And hopefully I brought you a little bit of happiness today. And that's my job. It's what I do on a regular basis. I am going to now wrap this up and uh, move on and go to my patrons, not the Cantina patrons, but the uh, patrons who uh, support me by way of chrisperlo.com. If you want to have me answer your questions and uh, do the things that you'd rather have me do on a regular basis. That's what you got to do. Head over to chrisperlo.com and sign up to become an active patron right now. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperlo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.